Hey guys, welcome back to the new video for W Parameter Series. And uh, the next thing I want to show you is how you will going to create um, something uh, which is very very useful in pretty much every company, which is sales forecast. So impact on the increase or decrease of your sales forecast number on actual numbers. All right, so just for this example, what we were going to take is, uh, let's say, first of all, uh, we want sales. So we have sales. And uh, then let's say we want some sort of category to represent a category over here. And uh, now what we want is uh, a sales forecast parameter. So something like, uh, whether you will going uh, to close the 95% of your sales forecast or 100% things like that. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just come over here and drop down and create parameter and parameter is let's say sales forecast. Keep it float um, current value is one and uh, what I want is basically a range minimum is one maximum is uh, so minimum is let's say minus one or maybe you can say zero because you never go below zero and uh, maximum is 100 and you will need to put one even in some cases based on the company you can go to 0.5 let's say your forecast is always between 0.5 to 1 and then you give up step size um, let's say 0 0.02 that you want to increase with every two percent and want to see the impact and you click OK. Uh, once you click OK, you have the sales forecast over here, which you can show it as a parameter control. And as you will see, this is changing with every 2%, right? You can format this number, which, which is pretty easy. And uh, now I want to show the impact of the sales forecast over here. So what I'll do, I'll create a calculated field. And calculated field is will put sales forecast uh, final number or maybe actual final or closed final whatever you want to put based on the adjustment you are making from this forecast so it is simple right now it can be very complex based on your needs so what I'm doing right now is just taking the sum of sales multiplying it with by one plus sales forecast all right parameter so what it is basically saying that uh, if I am increasing or reducing by 0 0.02 which is 0 0.02 percent that's actually 102 percent that's how it should show it in the reality so once you click apply and okay here I should have the sales forecast final and I will put it on this axis so that it is a shared axis all right here I have now what I can do is uh, just to have some sort of uh, um, difference I will put a measure name on the color and now sales forecast final is here and forecast is here so if I just change you will see that uh, the bars will be changing based on how we are increasing or decreasing the sales forecast number so this way you can make your um, comparative analysis between what is your actual sales numbers are saying and what is your forecast is saying and when you are changing the forecast then how your um, overall sales number will be changing so that's about it uh, how about how you can use the parameters and uh, create um, sales forecast numbers for your company and now I will meet you in a new video the new topic